So you're browsing on YouTube, looking at different videos. What makes you click on a video to watch it? It's probably a combination of the thumbnail and the title. And thumbnails are one of the most important aspects of any video's release, other than the video itself. This is because thumbnails, in combination with titles, are often the biggest deciding factor in whether or not a person will click to watch a video. In this video, we're going to learn the principles and the tactics that are going to help you make thumbnails that convert. While the tactics and the actual thumbnails can vary widely from genre and also your type of video and your personal style, there are several guiding principles that can be used to make great thumbnails. One, you have to accurately portray the content of the video. No one likes to get tricked. Two, you have to get your audience excited about watching the video. They need to want to click on it. And three, you want to draw the attention of your audience. There are so many videos on YouTube. You need to stand out. TubeFilter kind of wrote the definitive guide. It's literally called the definitive guide, the thumbnails. We'll be using a lot of their content. If you want to find that, just Google the definitive guide to making YouTube thumbnails. It's one of the first results on Google. So now that we know the principles to making good thumbnails, what are some of the tactics? Number one, use close-ups on faces, preferably making eye contact. Humans have evolved to detect eye contact, making thumbnails with eye contact more eye-catching, especially if the whites of the eyes are visible. In addition to this, we largely communicate in part by reading emotional cues on the face. So put a face on your thumbnail video. Number two, show strong emotions. To take the face step one step further, showing strong emotions is also beneficial. Strong emotions are A, easily identifiable, and B, make the viewer feel that same heightened emotion through empathy. When a viewer becomes emotionally connected to something, they want to feel that emotion themselves. They're more likely to click on your video. The Fine Brothers are a great example of showing strong emotions. Their thumbnails really are only strong emotions, again and again and again. Number three, use bright backgrounds. Bright backgrounds stand out against the white background of YouTube. They also help set it apart from other thumbnails that don't maybe have a bright background. Using a bright background can make your thumbnail pop out. Jamie Oliver does this to great effect. Even if it's not a solid color, it's brighter or different than the other backgrounds. Number four, contrast and outlines. Contrast and outlines allow the subject of the video to stand out against the background itself. They can also give the subject a depth of field, making it stand out even more. Remember, you're doing everything you can to draw their eye. Number five, use text sparingly. The title of your video should be enough copy, but if you do have to explain something or add some words, it should be one to four words and should stand out with contrasting colors or an outline. Number six, use bugs and branding. Bugs, which is a small watermark or logo, and branding are essential for great thumbnails. A good bug or brand helps your thumbnail stand out against the other thumbnails on YouTube because it's a clear signal to the audience that it's one of your videos. Since your audience is easily able to identify the videos as coming from you, they are more likely to click that video. Number seven, be consistent. Consistency, just like using a brand or a bug, allows viewers to easily identify your videos. Consistency in thumbnail design includes color palettes, layouts, number of subjects, arrangement, fonts, a ton of other elements. You just want to make sure your thumbnail looks consistent from video to video. You can change this over time, but make sure you change it slowly so you don't lose your viewers in the process. Number eight, design for the small screen. Most of the time when people see your thumbnails, they're going to be very small. On an iPhone or on the YouTube homepage, they're very rarely going to be the large one. So you need to design to make sure that it looks good and small. Number nine, complementary colors. Complementary colors are colors that are opposite of each other on the color wheel. They definitely stand out from each other. So if the subject of your video is yellow, try to choose a background that is blue. Number 10, easy to see and understand. Viewers should be able to tell what's going on in the video from just one picture. Number 11, avoid the lower right hand corner. YouTube often puts icons in this corner, so try to avoid important things in your thumbnail in the lower right hand corner. Number 12, use yellow whenever possible. The human eye is built to see yellow. That's why school buses are yellow, important signs are yellow, taxi cabs are yellow. So try to slip in yellow into your thumbnails as often as possible. According to the Google support docs, your account has to be verified and in good standing to use custom thumbnails. If you have these two requirements, let's make a thumbnail. It's got to be 1280 by 720. So let's pop over to Photoshop and start making that. Down. To set your thumbnail, go to your video manager. Go to Info and Settings, choose Custom Thumbnail, pick your thumbnail, it'll upload, save your changes, and go back to Video Manager. Looks good in small screen, we'll call it good. So to recap, the guiding principles are accurately portray the video content, get your audience excited, and draw the attention of your audience. 
the specific tactics are use faces close up with eye contact, show strong emotions, use bright backgrounds, contrast and outlines, use text sparingly, use bugs and other branding, and be consistent. Also, design for a small screen, use complementary colors, make them easy to see and understand, avoid the lower hand corner, and use yellow. Thanks for watching.